हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट स्टार्ट विद द न्यू चैप्टर विच इज इनकम फ्रॉम सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट स्टूडेंट्स एनी काइंड ऑफ इनकम और प्रॉफिट अर्न फ्रॉम द सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयड बिजनेस और प्रोफेशन विल बी कवर्ड अंडर द सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट इनकम और ट्रेडिंग इनकम स्टूडेंट्स नाउ दैट प्रॉफिट और इनकम विल बी असेस्ड ऑन द करंट ईयर बेजिस स्टूडेंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द बेजिस पीरियड रूल्स दैट वी हैव already learned on we will learn in the upcoming chapters so that means if we have accounting year and in the 31st december 2019 then the whole year profit will be taxable in the tax year of 2019 20 but students many time we cannot easily decide that person is doing a pure business or it was just a single transaction like person can be a property dealer or just may have sold one asset incidentally so if he is property dealer then income will be assessed under self employment or trading income but if the person have just sold an asset for a capital gain then cgt will arise in this case students so how can we decide that whether that person is doing business or not so for that we have various key badges which will help you to decide that so here are some key badges students which we have to see now students here we have the pro forma to calculate the final taxable trading profit uh, so students it will start with the accounting net profit and then we have to make the below adjustments to derive the final amount of the taxable amount so students majorly we will have to adjust the disallowable expenditures majorly which are deducted deducted in pnl but not allowed for the tax purpose so we have to add back those expenditures which are disallowed by the hmrc so here we have various expenditures students which we need to remember like uh, first one is any expenditure which is not incurred wholly and exclusively for a business purpose then uh, some proportion which are uh, used for private purpose will be disallowed students then next one is the appropriations we already already know that uh, what are the appropriations so any appropriation in the form of salary or interest to the owner or partner are not allowable expenditure students so we have to add back or we have to adjust that then the third one is students many times the salary will be paid to the family so if the member of the family is working and and working at a reasonable salary then there is not a problem students but any excessive salary paid to the family member will be disallowed then fourth one is students for sole trader or partnership sometimes if the owner make a mistake or miss the due date of income tax payment then hmrc will charge the interest or penalty so that penalty or interest payment is a personal liability of the owner and not any kind of business expenditure so that's why uh, any interest or penalty charged by the hmrc will not be allowed as a deduction and it will be disallowed and that's why we have to make adjustment for that also fifth one is students capital expenditure if we are following the accrual basis then it is very obvious that capital expenditure is not an allowable expenditure generally business also charges the depreciation but that is also not allowed for the tax purpose instead of depreciation students hmrc will allow the capital allowance to the business then students sixth one is, is car leasing if we lease the car with the co2 emission of below 110 g per kilometer then lease expense will be allowed fully we don't need to worry but if co2 emission is more than 110 g per kilometer then 15% of that expense will be disallowed now students the next one is subscriptions and the donations generally professional subscriptions are allowed that means acca members can pay the membership or subscription fees and that will be allowed as a deduction to the business but to claim the deduction of the charitable donation we have to fulfill the below three conditions students which are as below you just take a quick look 
but students any donation to the political party will not be allowed now the eighth one is students entertainment and gift expense entertainment expense are disallowed students but if suppose that ex entertainment expense are made wholly and exclusively for employees only then it will be allowed and any gift made to the employees are also allowed because students the same amount of the deduction that we will take as an gift expense to the employees the same amount will be taxable to the employees under the employment income so here we are taking deductions but employee will be taxable for the gift amount right uh, then after students but if we make gift to the customer then it must fulfill once again the below three conditions to be allowed but if we give the sample to the customers then it will be allowed students it is very obvious that it is for our marketing purpose and the sample uh, must be allowed then students the ninth one is the legal charges so if the if it's for the business purpose then it is allowed it is very logical but if it's capital nature then it will not be allowed but still they have given an exception list which are always allowed even if it is of the capital nature so please remember the below given list the last one is students allowance for the trade debts or impairment loss it is once again logical that any kind of trade debts uh, will or allowance for that will always be allowed but sometimes the we Uh, like uh, have non trade debts then any kind of allowance or write off of the non trade debt will not be allowed so students here we are done with the disallowable expenditures list now we have to make the adjustment for other items also like the next one is a taxable income which is not included in the pnl which actually should be a debt generally students this is adjustment will require if the owner takes the goods from the business for personal use so that actually business should recognize that income under the trading income if business have not recorded the transaction at all then they have to record the transaction at a selling price friends but if already recorded at a cost sometimes the business record at a cost then only the profit element needs to be recorded now the next adjustment students is about the incomes which are not taxable under the trading income but still included in the pnl like students the example given here very simple capital received property income dividend income or exempt income these are the incomes which are taxable but not under the trading income so we have to make adjustment right and that will be taxable separately then students the last adjustment is that allowed expenditure which are not charged in the pnl generally students business charges all the expenses they usually never forget that but still here are some examples also which are allowed under the tax laws but not be there in the pnl Uh, then uh, next uh, concept is students when business pays lease premium for the short term lease taken then uh, lease payment will obviously go to the pnl but the premium if any paid over and above will be amortized generally uh, businesses do this kind of accounting but for the tax purpose students amortization of that premium will not be allowed so we have to add back now you will tell us that oh, sir the business has incurred the very logical business expenditure so they must have to get some benefit they if they paid the premium so yes obviously students the business still claim the deduction of the lease premium paid but only up to the amount taxable to the landlord under the property income that means that the if we are giving the premium then it is obvious that the uh, other person that means the landlord may have got that premium and the landlord uh, will be taxable for that premium under the property income that we have learned in the property income students so that we have applied the formula for the short lease premium and the 
under that from formula if suppose 20000 premium is received by the landlord and the only taxable amount is their approximate 8000 right so landlord have been taxed for the 8000 only under the property income so that means that we can only claim the deduction of only 8000 pound only even if we have paid fully 20000 right now students the last concept is cash basis of the accounting cash basis will record the income when received and expenses when actually paid it's only available to unincorporated businesses if the revenue is lower than 150000 it's not available to companies or any kind of llps once the turnover exceeds the 3 lakh pound then business cannot opt for the cash basis students so here uh, we are done with this chapter we will learn the next chapter in the next session thank you students